Okay, back at the vice again. Um, I had a risk, uh, request doing uh, tying a uh, blue doctor. So I thought, hey, I would like to have that in my own uh, fly box, uh, so to say, or wallet. So I'm gonna use uh, partridge hooks, um, a 3 0 actually, inspected by Helen. She's doing such a great job. So let me see. Pick out one of these. I think I'm gonna tie the whole doctor's here. I even find a grey doctor, so it's gonna be like five or six of them coming uh, the coming weeks. I think this hook would be legal to fish with in, in the water I fish. Uh, and for fishing I, I prefer actually to use uh, not the blind eye hooks. Uh, it might sometimes happen that, that you didn't tie it in properly and secure it so you lose everything and that comes the fly but nothing else and so, yeah that's not really fun happens a few times so let me start a good thing here I can start in the back instead of you know doing everything in the front first so okay, shorting the video time so you don't get the uh, <laughs> Both of me. It might already be, but yeah, can't do much about that. I like to tie and do videos. So let me see. Let's start with this uh, silver thread, oval silver thread. Um, I have this one from uh, oh, Weber's Extra Small. I like it. Of course, you know, if you want to do an uh, antique fly or whatever, you can use old uh, vineyards, but for a fishing fly, nah. Can you secure that one? And there we are, we have the tinsel here. I wrap it around uh, the thread, as you see, so I can put it up. And Pull it up, tighten the thread, tie it in. Oops. There we are, a few wraps. Might go a little bit ahead. Going back again. Time to wrap the tin cell. I think I will go with the three or four turns. I think since it's so thin, I will do four. Just to get something attractive in the end of the fly there. There we are. Just building up a little bit of body there for the silk to stay on. Have a look there, perfect. Cutting the leftovers. I think it's yellow silk. Yeah, I have the one I used three times before. next to me so I'm just following the flow of uh, comments on Instagram and Facebook so sorry for that I'm gonna concentrate so now as you know time for the monster gloves yeah since I 
I have quite fatty fingers at all times, even if I wash them, they're still fatty, I don't know. Might be a plus 40 something sign, you're not young, young anymore. So, doing tight wraps with the silk backwards. My dog snoring in the background. Not me, I'm, I'm awake. So I accidentally hit the, the point of the hook and damaged the silk, but I think it's pretty okay. So let me just remove these. There we are. So I'm gonna reset the hook because I notice it's pointing a little bit down and that's never good. Oh, well, there we are. So I'm building up a base for um, the tail to sit on, just to make sure it doesn't get this uh, bump that uh, lifts it up. So I'm going to use some wax, uh, a light wax, and trying to find a topping that might suit this adventure yeah why not now it's too curvy maybe that one and that one put out a few candidates stated before this one going into my own box for fishing nah, I didn't like that one so let me see
cut the hem off the sides. quite a lot of the material. So it's going to be a floss body so we need to build it up anyhow. I think you see it's better that way with black. Now you see the tail is curved. Just cleaning the table. And the pattern states tippet and in strands. I think I haven't done this one in a long way. Tippet and strands, yes. So, tippet. So one from each side of uh, the neck. But I'm just going to take a piece of it. So I'm removing almost everything of it. until I have this one left over so that's gonna be one side so I'm gonna do another one First I need to wax the thread of course. Waxing, waxing. Using the light wax. I wanna color the uh, yellow silk in the back. So now I need to pair these two on top of each other.
we go. Oh, you see. Sorry. <laughs> In that blur. Okay, so cutting the leftovers. Let me see if I manage to get any of that red roll up. What did I carry up the other day? These are all the seafood. And they have red. Taking some red wool, Berlin wool. And just wrap it around the thread. You don't need much at all. There we are. So now you see the red boot. Okay. Before doing anything else, uh, Saturday. So uh, cheers. So let me remove the hooks. I'm gonna tie a lot of doctors on them in the coming days. But the important part is. Next step, I think it's the silver tinsel. So, once again, Vivos, I go with that large one. I think it's uh, gonna fit the hook size decent. And it's very, very shiny, I like that. Metallic. I think in the blue dot is no no bother can yeah? No it's not. And since I actually took a quite quite large one, a 3 O hook, I'm not gonna use a J in the, as a front tackle. Of course, most likely I have a feather that fits the size of the hook, but I'm gonna use a capricelli that I uh, colored blue earlier. I like that feather a lot. I use it uh, on all my flies normally. So I'm just removing uh, the tinsel on a part of the oval tinsel, as you can see there, because I want to tie it in without it uh, taking too much space or make it bump in, in the body, so to say. But first of all, legs. There we are, tying it in properly, you don't want your tinsel to <laughs> run away from you then. So now I'm doing a few quick wraps around the, the hook just to build up the, the body, so the same with the, with the thread. So um, the body is done. Um, I made it thick in the middle and then, you know, even out on each side. So now it's time for the blue uh, silk floss.
adding some racks. Tie it in with a few ramps properly, secure it. My lovely gloves again. Because I don't want to ruin the shine of the 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 light blue um, silk, which I would with my fat from my fingers. Yeah, all the shine would just disappear, and it's such such a pity on such a fantastic, beautiful material. So let's start. Silk is a little bit damaged, but hopefully it's gonna be okay. So just wrapping tight wraps to the end, then uh, back again. Notice the silk is not in its best condition. Pretty poor actually. It's been damaged. Now going forward again, I'm going to see if I can cut the, the damaged part off later when I'm done. The mention in this video, I'm focusing on the of the body as uh, always. One video for the body, one for the the wing itself. Just to break it down into manageable amount of time. I don't think somebody want to watch me for like two or three hours. It's not that fun. We are securing the silk, tying it in properly. Most likely, I will just throw away this piece. It's uh, quite a lot, but, but still, it's in 
no good condition. I wouldn't use that for customer flies. I just can cut the thing sticking out of it. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Manageable. So, small hook. Oh, small, but small, but I think I go with five turns of tin cell. Off, waxing the thread, tie it in properly, secure it. You don't want it to uh, loose up, and then, as you see, hmm, there you are. Always, when you have a since I have such a strong lamp, <laughs> sorry for that, but I need it so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, but when you have silver tinsel in, you know, it, it reflects in the light and it's, you, know, you can't even see the fly. Uh, hmm. So, let me see. The ones most likely in the bottom. Yes. about the anti front tackle to this fly. I think that also the damage fiber too bad. Ah, looks good. colored it blue otherwise it would be grayish I love this photo so that's that's my signum I would say Front tackle in place. Get the leftovers. 
waxing the thread. Securing everything properly. And we are ready for um, the wing. But that, that will be the next video. So let me just show you where we are. So I think you can see the front tackle is in place, the body is in place, the tail is there. So to be honest, that, that was actually it for today. So uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, if you're not already a subscriber please make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, up there you're gonna see other tying videos there and uh, here you can um, subscribe to the channel and I don't mind if you hit the bell then you don't miss out on the next coming videos and uh, if you like the video why don't share it uh, between friends or whatever on Facebook yeah. so yeah I'm here if you want me to tie something specific add it in the comments add it to my list of uh, flies to tie okay see you in the next video